So I'm going to address one of the weirdo stalkers I've had for several years who claims that I am living in a, a mobile home. And he calls me white trash. This is a dude. I'm not going to say his name. This is a dude who, let's see, has, I think, gout from what I hear. He was trying to hit on one of the women on YouTube who's a mixed lady. And um, the dude rents a room out. He rents a I don't even want to, I, I don't, I don't like doing this kind of video, but he deserves it. He rents out a room, a garbage pit room, pun intended. And, um, in some of the worst areas of Oregon, Portland, Oregon. And he has the nerve to talk about me and my, he calls my house, uh, a double Y or not a a double Y, a trailer, a, 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 uh, he calls me white trash, trailer trash or whatever. When really the trailer trash is him. He's been trailer trash for a long time and he can't stop talking about me. He can't stop talking about me. This dude constantly talks about me. He constantly goes after, uh, several black women on YouTube and talks shit about them as well. But he's, he's the lowest of the low. He is the most garbage pit type dude on YouTube. And he slanders people on a daily basis and wants to act like he's righteous. Like, uh, dude, no, you're not. You're a horrible, horrible, horrible person. So let me, let me see if I can pause this and go downstairs, you know, in my so-called um, trailer trash house, you know, hold on. Yeah. Who's trailer trash dude. That's one of my guest bedrooms. Here's another one of my guest bedrooms and notice I've put in new ceiling fans and all kinds of things and TVs and all kinds of things, but this is another guest bedroom. Yeah. Mr. Trailer trash. You're the trailer trash. And you call me Dick down Dorothy dude. I've not fucked not one dude on YouTube. You don't know anything about how I live my life and how I carry myself as a woman, but I wouldn't pick any dudes on YouTube. And you talked about big J, but big J's actually has a backbone. He actually has a moral compass. Where's your moral compass? You have none. You have none. So, uh, while you're talking shit about big J, big J is a good person. Legitimately. He's a really good person. Let me continue. That's my office sewing room. There's my guest bathroom. You know, I've got three bathrooms in this so-called trailer. Ain't it nice? Here's my loft. You know, in my so-called trailer. Let me go downstairs now. Here's my formal living room in my so-called trailer. Not that I'm knocking people that live in trailers because there's some really beautiful trailers out there. But dude, while you're sitting here talking smack, let's see your house. Let's see your house. Oh, that's right. You send all your money to Africa to a woman to a woman who doesn't want you. And you have nothing for yourself but $200 left over to, to rent a nasty-ass room in somebody's garbage-ass house. Ain't that right, Mr. Mr. Garbage Pit? So this is my formal living room. And this is just my regular living room with my karaoke machine and my dog's beds and uh, my leather couches and my leather chairs. There's my dining room in my so-called, um, what'd you call it? Uh, mobile home. There's my kitchen with all my new appliances, black stainless steel. Do you got that? Do you got that? Mr. Garbage Pit? Do you have this? Do you have this? Huh? Do you have all this? I don't think so. I don't think you do. Continue to talk shit, punk. Uh, 